All right, we'll go ahead and get started. I'll fill in for Jeff since he's out tonight. Um, we got two items on the finance committee. The first one before us is a resolution. I'll go ahead and read it, and then I'll turn it over to Patsy. A resolution accepting a guaranteed maximum price for the construction of Luther George Park Improvement Project. This one's real simple. The uh, steering committee has raised the money to build Luther George Park, and we're doing the change order to let Luther George Park be built using the money that has been raised. And as a guaranteed amount not to exceed eleven million seven hundred thirty eight thousand three hundred seventy two dollars. Got a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Oh. What? Oh. Yeah, he, he what did he say? Motion. Oh. He said to approve it. Oh. <laughs> you need to send it to counselor, Rick. Hold that the There you go. We'll take the approval tonight, but it probably has to go to council. <laughs> we take it. Rick's it's tough you. having a new guy. <laughs> Tell he's old school. He said to do pass. Yeah, do pass. <laughs> So That's I good. do have, I think, a amended and corrected motion in a second. All in favor, say aye. aye. All opposed, say aye. Oops, sorry, maybe. All right. <laughs> we'll send it You're to council. Right. All right. The other item on the agenda tonight is a resolution. I'll go ahead and read it, and I'll turn it over to Ben. A resolution authorizing the mayor and city clerk to enter into a contract with Crossland Heavy Contractors, Inc. for construction of South Dixieland Road Extension. Oh, yeah, thank you. So this would be, we opened bids on November 1st, and there was an apparent low bidder of Boyle's construction out of Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, their bid was found to have some irregularities, and they are primarily a utility contractor, not a road building contractor. So for the reasons outlined in my memo and in Garver's memo to you all, we recommend that we select the second bidder, which was Crossland Heavy Construction. Move the resolution be forward for recommendation for approval. How, how much was the difference in those two, if, it, if you don't mind me asking? <clears throat> well, the, the apparent low bid was $6.48 million, and the next bidder is 7.74. But there were, the error in their bid was to the tune of about $600,000. So if you add that in, it's about a 10% difference. And Ben, uh, just for the council's information, I think this the Crossland bid is still uh, approximately, what, $2 million below it's, estimates? It's about 25% under what the engineer estimated. Okay, so, so over $2 million below our yeah, last Yeah, well, well under the... You know, what we thought we were going to spend on the project. Yeah. Second. I hope that's a good sign that things are starting to come down a little bit on these bids. All right, I got a motion and a second. Is there any other questions or discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. All right. With that, I think we're done. I don't have anything else. I've got something. Oh, go ahead, I, Randall. Uh, I got an email uh, this past week from a gentleman on the fences, and I told him that I'd bring it up during our. Um, he had built. He came to us and wanted to build a fence, and he got pushed around some to different departments, and then he built it, and then there were issues with the fence. We yet. still got a. So he, there's still a variance he needs to get if he doesn't want to build the sidewalk on the cul-de-sac. Is yeah, that he, right? He got the variance last week. Well, so. we got the. Yeah. On the height of the fence. Right. Oh, so there's there's still another variance on the well, sidewalk, right? It'd be a waiver. Build the sidewalk, and that waiver has to go to council. Right. That that'll come to. So planning commission is not going to act on that. Planning commission recommended that the sidewalk be built. Okay. Okay. So it'll come to council like all of them do, mm -hmm. and y'all will have a say on whether he needs to build the sidewalk or not. Yeah, his email was just more or less concerned about the process of getting an approval for a fence or who to talk to or and where to get all the information based on on the fence because yeah. I think he was told one thing from one division and then the, yeah. he got, uh, what was the guy, uh, our ordinance? I th I, uh, yeah, uh, from, that's, that's the issue I think he was getting at. Right. We, 
he was hoping we could put some process in place better than what we have for fences. Yeah, because he thought he had everything covered, and then he had to come yeah. get a, he had to get two variances, I guess. If y'all want to look at that at a at a future committee meeting, maybe Ernest and Patsy can give us more of the particulars about what we're missing and what. I don't even know if it needs to be a permit, just a process. You know, who who's got all the answers and. Yeah. Yeah. I can forward that back out. My iPad's not working right now. Yeah, when you're hearing one side of it, it's kind of it can kind of get. Sure. But but it would sure wouldn't hurt to talk through it, see what happened, and see if there's some improvements we can make. Well, we've, we've had other variances. We've had one that encroached on the the fence that was there for the traffic sight lines. Yeah. Right. Make, <clears throat> make sure your mic's on so Amelia you can hear you, Ernest. We've had we've had other issues come up with fences, and uh, I can't remember. There was one that we reached out to the fencing companies because these fencing companies should also be aware of what our ordinances are, so they're not running out and putting up a fence that they ought to know is violating our ordinance too. Putting a six foot fence up in the front yard. Or something like that. Right. Yeah. And I can't, I think the one about the site line. Yeah. Well, I think if we just, if we had either where we could look at it, look at the plan, and then see if there's any red flags before they build it, because I'd rather fix it on the front side than the back, you know. So I guess what we would, I mean, we're just spitballing here, but I guess we would need for, would it be building inspection? Would that be just like any other? Who would be the entity that that would be best for someone to go to if they're wanting to build a privacy fence? And do we do we require that for all fences, or how, how do we know? Those are some of the things we gotta yeah. talk through. Right. Ernest. Ernest would be good. I never got. Thanks. Thank you. He, he pretty well gave the story at the Planning Commission meeting. And then, of course, the Planning Commission granted his variance on the, on the fence. But the uh, waiver's still out there on the, on the sidewalk and for the council. The issue you're running into sometimes is which side is the, are the supports supposed to be on, facing in or facing out. And that's, to me, that's more in the fencing companies that are putting these in. They need to know that. And I think that was the issue where I think Neighborhood services did reach out to the various fencing companies yeah. and remind them. That way a homeowner doesn't get stuck with the fence built. They're, they're relying on these fencing companies to know what the ordinances are. Right. And well, the poor property owner gets stuck. Away, and, you know, we, we've had various amounts of issues with fences because we don't look at them. Yeah. I understand if, if somebody just built one and didn't ask any questions, but... If they come and ask questions and then we end up having issues later on, that's yeah. something I'd like to be able to figure out how to stop at the head. Everybody needs to get, be on the same page and give them the same <laughs> answers, for sure. Can you put it on the list of things to look at after the first year? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. That good, Randall? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I don't guess there's anything else. I guess y'all have a good evening. It's not going to be slick outside. <laughs>